Namaste. We're going to do a quick 10 minutes practice just to mobilize the whole body. This is really good for early in the morning and to just center ourselves and give our bodies a chance to get up and go. So we are going to sit comfortably. If sitting cross-legged is not comfortable for you, you can open your legs into a V and you can also have one foot in front of the other just to let the knees release down towards the floor. My name is Jenny and I'm going to be guiding through this, guiding you through this practice. So focus on listening to your breath, listening to what's happening. Close your eyes for a moment. You can rest your hands with your palms facing downwards over your knees. And inhaling and exhaling. Feel your lungs filling fully with air through your belly and your ribs and your collarbones and the back of your neck. And put an intention for this practice today. The intention for your practice can be something you would like to achieve, some personal goal. You can also offer your practice for somebody that you care for. Palms come together. Bow your heads to yourselves. Namaste. Interlace your fingers in front of your chest. Inhale, looking up towards the sky, pushing the skin on your chest down. And exhale, bring your arms forwards, arching your back. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, arch. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, arch your back. Knuckles are forwards. Turn your hands and bring your arms up. Stretching your elbows, stretching everything. And stretch side to side, looking towards the elbow that is at the top. Stretching side to side. Oh, so good to stretch. Inhale here, exhale, release your arms and bring opposite hand to knee. Looking over your shoulder. Inhale, arms up, exhale, change side. Inhale, hello. Exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release your hands behind you. Open your chest and let the head drop back. Inhale, bring your head back to center. Extend your legs and change the curse of the legs. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. This time we're going to lift the head and walk both hands towards one knee and let the nose go towards the knee. Feeling the whole of the side of the body stretch. Keep walking your hands to be aligned with your hip and bring the other arm overhead, turning your chest, stretching the side body. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely and release your hands either side of your knee walk your hands in front of you reaching forwards reaching forwards chin to chest and go to the other knee and then hand aligned with your hip bring the arm overhead and open up looking towards the sky Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, fingertips behind your back, behind your buttocks, and chin towards the chest, look towards the floor. Look forward, shake your legs, and release. Shake, shake, shake. Now, pound your legs towards the floor. This will stimulate the flow of energy on your legs and your lymphatic system. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forward. Gently holding onto your shins, ankles, 
feet wherever you can. Relax your head towards the floor. Don't worry if you can't go very far, if your lower back is hurting, then you can bend your knees and rest your belly towards your, your thighs. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, bring your hands behind you, fingertips pointing away. Bring your feet onto the floor and we're going to come into tabletop. So in tabletop, we're opening the chest and bringing the hips up, releasing the head. Take three breaths in here. It might be tough if your shoulders are tight. One more breath. Exhale, release. Shake your wrists. Shake, 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 shake. As if you were taking water out of your hands. Good. And coming to all fours. This is another tabletop. So cat cow is a very traditional pose. Chin to chest, stretching your back. Exhale, open, cow stretch. So you stretch your back towards the sky like an angry cat. And then you release your abdomen towards the floor, opening up, cow. Cat, cow. You can do the noses as well if you wanted to. Meow. Moo. <laughs> It's good to have a little bit of a laugh. Lovely. Come onto your fingertips. If your fingers are not strong enough yet, you can have your hands flat. But coming onto your fingertips releases the pressure on your wrists. Bring your right arm up. Open up into a twist. And then we're going to thread the needle without resting the head. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, thread the needle. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale. We're going to thread the needle, rest the upper arm onto the floor, rest the head onto the floor, and the left arm can wrap around our waist or release on the ground or come forward. You choose. One more deep breath in here. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, release. The other side. Inhale, bring your arm up. Exhale, needle and thread. Inhale, up. Exhale, thread. Inhale. Exhale. Let your upper arm rest onto the floor. The hand can be in front of your face along the ground, all behind your back. Coming back to center, release. Come into a child's pose, stretching your arms forward, forehead onto the floor. If you want a more relaxing child's pose, you can have your hands underneath your forehead. Breathe deeply. Then walk your hands towards your knees and bring your knees towards each other. Sit onto your shins. Hands resting over the thighs. Roll the shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forward. Release your chin towards your chest and roll your head side to side. Let the sides of the neck get all the juiciness they need. So we're finishing our practice. Lie down onto the ground and let your body be completely relaxed. So Shavasana means corpse pose. You want to have your arms by the sides of the body, your legs resting on the floor, your feet 
dropping away from each other, chin slightly tucked in towards your chest. Inhaling and exhaling. Allow your toes to relax. Relaxing your feet, ankles, calf muscles and shins, knees, thighs, hips. Relax your lower back, middle back, upper back, back of the neck. Relaxing your belly and your chest and the heart inside your chest. Relax the whole of your arms, elbows, forearms, wrists and hands. And your head is relaxed. If you can afford more time for resting, just stay there for a little bit longer. If you have to get on, then have a stretch, hug your knees, or cap into sitting. Just feel how you're feeling. Bring your palms together. Rub your palms. You can even do that if you're lying on the floor. Make the movement a little faster, generating energy between your hands. And place your palms over your face. Inhale deeply. Open your eyes to the darkness of your hands. Slide your hands towards your chest. Bow your head. Namaste. My name is Jenny Kaloisi. And if you enjoy this video, please make sure you like it, you share it, and put your comments. Subscribe to the channel. And if you subscribe to the channel, say, I subscribed and I will answer to you. <laughs> Namaste.